Now, hi ladies and gentlemen, uh, and hi to Jack and Alice and John, they are apparently having a good laugh at my introductions to my classes, so you're very welcome and I'm glad I'm giving you a bit of a laugh. Uh, I was speaking to, well, I'd call her a girl, but she's a lady, I suppose, uh, today just from my front door, who was telling me that um, there is a COVID-19 test place now up in the Odyssey. I don't know if you're aware of it, but apparently there was, I think, about 20 people that were tested uh, towards the beginning of the week. Um, Yesterday, I think there was 10, and today there was nine. Apparently, there's so few being tested that uh, she was told that uh, it might be better if she didn't come into work later in the evening because she's doing some work up there. And I just think that is absolutely unbelievable. In a way, and in a way I don't. Because if you consider that we listen to the news for updates and to see what's happening every day, um, and we're told that yes, our goal is a thousand or was it 10,000 testing, and there's a center that staff are being told not to bother coming in because there's not enough people attending. Now, why is that? Is that, um, you know, that they don't know this is supposed to be the NHS staff that were going to be tested there? I mean, I just fear for us all. It's terrible. I am so sick. And I know I keep saying this. I'm so sick listening to of the fact that uh, you know lockdown is not going to finish on the 9th of May, which most of us would be aware of that, that it's going to continue for a considerable long time after. And the uh, vulnerable or the elderly are going to be asked to stay in their houses and isolate for anything upwards to a year. I mean, can you imagine the mental issue with that, even just giving the facts of hearing that, never mind anything else. You know, the elderly, the vulnerable, there's no mention that there are lots and lots of elderly, older people who are not vulnerable in as much as they are relatively healthy people. I mean, that's just, it depresses me so much. I am sorry to go on about this, ladies and gentlemen, but it's just terrible. Anyway. Sorry about that. I do go off on one. I talk to myself in the house anyway, which is very good. But I don't just talk to myself as other people do. I like to have a full scale conversation with myself. Um, so anyway, we're, uh, I, I love the fact that so many of you are enjoying the Body Blitz classes. Those of you who normally might not do them. They are a little bit less impacted than what I might do when I'm teaching class but as I've always told everybody who's asked me about it or who does them or has never done them before anybody can do them it's just a matter of listening to your teaching and your safety points resting down when you need to march it out if you have to there's no pressure on you ever to keep up the thing about body blitz is that you get a cardiovascular aspect to it so you should feel your heart and lungs having to work a little bit uh, heavier than they would might do with your Pilates although sometimes you can get a cardiovascular aspect in Pilates as well so that's lovely some of you have been sending me pictures um, of when you have completed your um, body blitz classes like um, Gillian and Rebecca so well done you two great photo um, really enjoyed that so do as I said anything you want to send me do folks <clears throat> Some of you have also requested that, you know, family live away. Some of them are in Canada, some of them are in America or whatever. Um, and it's difficult for them to get out of their houses also. And would I mind if they send the link to the work to them? I don't have a problem with that, folks. Um, <clears throat> as long as you always say to them to listen to their safety and teaching points. I know I do say that anyway in all of my videos, just as I do say it to you when we're in class. So those things never change and I've always talked to that. So we're going to do a Pilates class this evening. Should have been this afternoon, but this evening. And um, I'm going to incorporate weights so you can go and get 
your tins of vegetables, your bottles of water, weights if you have them, and no weights if you haven't got them. You don't have to use weights at all. Um, so we'll be incorporating that, and I want to do like a, a neck and shoulders aspect to the Pilates, so a good bit of upper body work just to um, loosen out some of that tension from your neck and shoulders, which I know a lot of you suffer from. Okay, so we'll get on with it. Feet nice and wide, well, not too wide, just like slightly wider than your hip distance. Shoulders are relaxed, chin towards your chest, nice big deep breath in through the nose, and out through the mouth. And remember, as always, ladies and gentlemen, anything that is not comfortable for you, you don't do it. Try it if you can, rest down if you need to. If it still doesn't feel right, then you are the owner of your own body, so let it go. Modify or take your modifications where they're offered to you. Feet down as opposed to head up, uh, legs up, head down as opposed to legs up. Oh, for goodness sake, Caroline, shut up. Feet down as opposed to up, head down as opposed to up, if necessary. When you feel you're flagging in your movements, ladies and gentlemen, don't continue to carry on. Take a breather and then come back in, okay? So nice in breath. Nice heel raise, toes to the floor, heels up. Again, nice long spine. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Breathe out, lift. Now try not to push forward and back. Breathe out, lift, inhale down, exhale, lift, inhale, lower, <clears throat> breathe out, lift, inhale, keep the ankles in line with the toes, breathe out, and breathe in, we're going to do eight a little bit faster, exhale, and inhale, and six, shoulders relax, five, and four, and three, and two, and one, Hold at the top, press up, try and keep the ankles in line, focus on the abdominals, remember that sense of awareness from the front of your pubic bone in, turning towards your waist and relax, feet nice and wide. Now just push your bum back, name that tune and transfer your weight, toes are forward. We're going to bring ourselves up top, soft knees. Just gently down right side, left side. Head sits in the center of the neck and shoulders. And four, and three, and two, and one. And gently, fingertips side in front. Nice diagonal line, right arm down by the side of the right hip, left arm just diagonally out from the left shoulder, breathe in. Exhale, other side, shoulders relax, ribs down in the midsection, knees soft, head tall. Breathe out, inhale, exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Now again, what you don't want is a big arch in your back, ribs flaring away from your hip line, so you control that, continue your work. And how do we control it? By being mindful of what happens here, keeping the ribs aligned to the hips. Exhale, breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, feeling the top shoulder especially, down in the back, rotating slightly inwards to the midline of the spine. Breathe out, breathe in. Sounded very bossy there ladies and gentlemen, didn't it? As you would say, Whoa. two to go, exhale, breathe in, soft knees. And gently relax. Now shoulders forward, and now pull them away from me. Shoulders forward and pull them away. Now as you bring your shoulders forward, slight lift in the tummy so you feel your spine rounding itself. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and together. We'll do that six times a little bit faster. Exhale, breathe in. Five and four. Nice postural rotation there. Shoulders slightly forward. Two to go. Last one. Oh, lovely. Nice breath in. Shoulder roll. Sausage roll, chocolate roll. Back the other way for four and three and two and one. And lift the shoulders, throw them away. Lift them, throw them away. Breathe in, breathe out. Now remember, aware of the full weight of your shoulders just dropping into your back. Not a sort of half-hearted one. Lift, 
and drop. Two to go. Lift. Last one. Lovely. Let's lift those arms to the ceiling and let's just let them fall. Wow. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale. Try not to bang the thighs too much just in case the sound on. It's like something out of a carry on movie when I slap my thighs. See? Again, those of you now that would bruise easily, of course, don't be banging your hands too heavy on your thighs. Two to go. Inhale. Exhale. Full weight of the arm. Two. Last one. Now, fingertips to the sides of the head. Soft knees. Now, that's bent. That's soft. Exhale. Right elbow towards the floor. Left elbow towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Lift. Exhale. Breathe in. Now again, remember, I always like to tell people to live their movement. It's not enough just to do it or hear it or see it, but live it. So when you drop that elbow, you can feel that stretched on the left trunk of the body. Breathe in, center. Exhale. Do so not pull your head and um, your neck, shoulders up around your neck. You're not bringing your elbows in or shoving your head down. If you took your arms out of that movement altogether, you are lifting the left rib away from the left hip. Inhale, center, lifting the right rib away from the right hip. So you're lengthening those muscles in the waist. Exhale. Inhale. Breathe out. Breathe in. Again, only go as far as is comfortable for you. Keep the head in the center of the shoulder line. Exhale down. Let's do six a little bit faster or keep it slow if you wish. Breathe out. And four. Wow, you can feel that really squeezing down on those muscles. Two to go. Last one. A little bit of impingement on the breathing there, but that's fine. And release. Lovely. Now, we're going to take those fingertips on top of the shoulders. Soft knees, and we're going to exhale round towards your right hand side. Breathe in center. Now, from your waist down, your hips are forward towards me. Exhale. Breathe in. Drop the back shoulder, especially on the rotation. Inhale. Exhale. Six a little bit faster. Breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale. Inhale. Four to go. Wow, shoulders down, soft knees. Keep the hips forward to the front. Two to go. Last one. Wow, 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 wow. You can feel that rotation of the shoulder blades right in towards the midline of the spine. And relax. Lovely. Now, I'm going to take you down towards the floor. Beautiful. And you're going to lie on your side, facing me, with your knees bent. Lovely. Can you see me, ladies and gentlemen? No. So, pillow or towel underneath your head. Wow. Shoulders nice and relaxed. Um, hands out in front. Make sure you haven't got one shoulder over too far in front of the other ones. Hands are hands. <laughs> hands. Hands are stacked one above the other. Shoulders one above the other. Hips the same. Knees the same. Shins out and feet flexed. Nice and breath. I want you slowly to raise that hand towards the ceiling and gently back and breathe in forward. All the time listening to that movement, ladies and gentlemen. Just thinking about the front of the shoulder into the deltoid muscle, into the rotator cuff at the back of the shoulder blade there. Breathe in center and forward. Exhale. Now don't roll the top hip back. And again, very importantly, you don't take that arm down here, okay? Which is what happens if that range of movement is a little bit restricted. So exhale, lift. You're better to just go here than to fight to bring your hand all the way back here, but have it near your bottom. Big out breath. Inhale, just feeling that stretch, shoulders away from the neck. And one more time, exhale. And breathe in. Now we're going to exhale, sweep the hand on, back behind you and gently forward, breathe in. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale, breathe out. And breathe in. Again, try not to take your circular movement 
up too high at this point. Try and keep it just over the, the top of the hip, back behind the hip and up and around. So we're aiming to get that shoulder through as much of a full range of movement as possible. If not, then you make your circle smaller. It's as simple as that. You don't get disheartened, you don't feel bad. Last one, in that direction. And back in the opposite direction. Breathe in, so it goes up over the side of your ear, back round behind the shoulder, down over the top hip, and forward. Inhale, exhale. And breathe in as you run out of breath. And exhale as you go in to execute your movement. Inhale. Exhale, just feel like those muscles at the top of your shoulder working. Nice range of movement through the shoulders. And again, make your circle smaller if you find your shoulders are tight. Two to go. Breathe in and breathe out. Lovely. Now we're going to take that hand, we're going to slowly raise it to the ceiling. We're going to gently turn our head back towards the floor. And we're going to stick our hand out through the wall. <laughs> Breathe in back. No, we're not going to do that. Now, somebody on YouTube might delete that, link it all together so it looks just perfect, but I'm not going to do that. So, arm up and gently back. Now you're trying to bring your top shoulder back towards the floor hips, it's in the center of your shoulder line, hips are still stuck, knees are together, and breathe in, bring it back. Exhale, rotate, lift. Inhale, back. Breathe out, rotate. Can you see me? <laughs> and exhale. Breathe in. Three to go. Exhale. Inhale. So you get a good stretch on the diagonal line of the spine from the back of that top shoulder down and across the back towards the opposite hip. Last one. And again, you wouldn't roll back so far if that is uncomfortable. Now hold here. And just try and bring that top shoulder you've just taken back towards the floor back a little bit more slight lift on your tummy to, just to protect your lower back and obviously you wouldn't be back here if your back was pulling or feeling uncomfortable you would have stopped it at about here okay nice in breath and gently bring that arm back lovely now pillow underneath the head on top of the uh, mat and on top of your lower arm feet are flexed forward towards me now, nice end breath, fingertips on the floor to help with your balance. Feet are stacked, one above the other, hips the same. Inhale, and exhale, extend the legs. Breathe in lower. Breathe out, push those heels away. Now remember, push them away. Don't fight to get your feet up like that, because that goes into the lower back. So be very careful, make sure your feet are slightly forward towards me. Exhale, lift. Inhale down. And you want to try not to let that top hip roll back like that. Side of the thighs facing the ceiling, and you'll feel that in your internal, external obliques there. Breathe out. Breathe in. Big out breath. Inhale down. Exhale. Inhale. Four to go. Breathe out. Breathe in. Exhale. Three. Inhale down. Exhale two. Inhale down. Exhale one. And hold. Now hold this leg and circle for eight and seven and six. Now don't take the heel of your foot behind your hip line. Look slightly in front to me. Five and four. Focusing on your balance, how do we create, create a nice long line? Again, thinking head, neck and spine in one long line. Using a sense of a lift on your tummy. Four to go. Three to go. Two to go. Come on ladies and gentlemen, hang in there. One more. Hold this one, pulse it. 
seven. I lengthen that leg. Feel that break down from the top of the glutes in towards the side of the thigh. Six, five, breathing, four, in and out, three, two, one, and relax. And just bend those knees, give your leg a little rub if you need to. Lovely job leg. Now, I want you to pick up your hand weights or not if you prefer and roll yourself onto your back just as you are. And as those of you who know me, I shall be coming up here simply because I get ready to go if I'm looking at the camera from the other side. So nice in breath. We're going to raise our hands towards the ceiling. I'm going to exhale slowly back. Breathe in, lift. Exhale. Now keep your hands just above your shoulders. Don't take your hands anywhere near the floor. Breathe in. Knees and feet are hip distance. Exhale, lift. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, lift. Exhale. Now again, nicely controlled. Continue. As you take your hands back, you want to maintain your rib to hip connection. Don't allow your ribs to flare up off the floor towards the ceiling. And breathe out. So we inhale here. And we exhale as we pull back. That supports uh, obviously the connection with the core and the lower back. So inhale and exhale. Four to go. Slightly soft at the elbows. Three to go. Only take the arms back as far as is comfortable for you. Last two. Last one. Now, if you can, hold your hands here, take a nice in breath and lift your feet off the floor. Shins are tabletop. Feet are flexed. Now, just drop the right heel and press the left arm back. And lift. Opposite arm and leg. And lift. Opposite arm and leg. Now again, remember you're going to be doing things like this, stretching the whole arm back, pushing the leg out, no. Shins tabletop, right arm back, just drop the left heel, inhale, bring them back. Don't move one leg or one arm until the other one is right back. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Four to go, come on. Exhale, you can do this. Shoulders relaxed. Try not to bend your elbow. Keep your arms so you can feel that work in the triceps. Shins tabletop. Last one. And rest down. Lovely. Nice breath in. Now we're going to bring the hands in. Right angle at the elbow. The elbow is on the floor. The hand is directly above the elbow. I'm going to push and pull. Now we're going to do these a little bit faster because we can. Hips nice and level, knees and feet hip distance. Exhale, push. Ten. Nine. Now obviously if your weights are very light, you'll probably be able to do a hundred of these before you get to that point where you think, oh, next year I can't do the next one, can't do the next one. Okay? So if that is the case, maybe you could take something a little bit heavier. Six. Five, if not, not necessary. Three, just imagine you've got two big bags of shopping in your hands. Two, one, and rest down. Now, nice in breath. I'm going to separate the hands. I'm going to drop the arms out to the side. Don't take the hands too close up here. No good. Ribs are down. Exhale, curl. Chin to chest. Breathe in. Exhale. Just as if you were hugging around the outside of a big tree trunk. Exhale. Breathe in, ribs to hips, chin to chest. Exhale, inhale, eight to go. Breathe in, exhale, seven. Inhale, exhale, six. Inhale, exhale, five. Breathe in, four to go. And three. And two. Round the tree trunk, round the outside of the tree trunk. Last one. And rest. Now, you've got your head up that way. 
Yeah. <laughs> so you're going to sit up and lie down this side, facing me, okay? I, on the other hand, are going to go back to the side I was already on, okay? So what I'll be doing is repeating the movements on the same side. You're now on the other arm, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, that's the trickiest part of this routine, is figuring that out. So your head now was here initially when you started, and now it's up that end, okay? Knees are out. Hands are forward, nice in breath, and lift. Face forward, shoulders are stacked, hips are stacked, knees are stacked, feet are stacked. Breathe in, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale. Breathe in, four to go. Breathe out. Nice floaty arm, lengthened. Long and strong, but not forcing anything. Three to go. Inhale, breathe out. Just feeling that stretch. Obviously it will be on your opposite arm, so just those muscles edging in from the top of your deltoid towards the top of your chest. Last one. And hold here. Now we're gonna bring that hand down across the top of the hip. Out behind us and back and over our ear. Breathe in, breathe out. Remember every movement should have an in breath and an out breath. What you don't want to do is get into that awful habit of just swinging your arm, breathing in, breathing out, not even knowing when you are breathing in and out. For me, that's not Pilates. Every movement has an in breath and preparation and exhalation on execution of your movement. Breathe in. And if by chance you run out of breath, ladies and gentlemen, before you get to the other part of your movement, it doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you continue to breathe, that you do not hold your breath, which is what people do do when they exercise, and in the main, they're not even aware of that. So nice in breath. We're going to take that hand back in the opposite direction. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Inhale, exhale, four to go, inhale, so you're, you're exhaling as you get to here, you're almost starting your in breath from here, and then exhale, and breathe in, and breathe out, so taking the arm back in the opposite direction, Again, make a little note in your head which arm seems to be able to do a better range of movement than the other. Maybe they're both the same. Maybe one is very good and the other one is very stiff. So again, as I've always told you, Pilates is a learning process. It's about learning about your own body, where your strengths and your weaknesses are. It's not about lying on a mat, flinging your legs here, flinging your legs there, and not really understanding why you're doing that. One more time. Palm over palm, nice in breath. Remember, knees are stacked, hips are stacked. Keeping the hips stacked, just take your top arm and roll it back towards the floor behind you. And you're trying to get your top shoulder of the arm that's going behind you as tight to the floor as possible without throwing your hip back. Breathe in. Exhale. And breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Remember, if you're not used to deep breathing, ladies and gentlemen, it can make you feel a little bit lightheaded. So there's nothing wrong with that. It's just because you're taking more oxygen into your body. Exhale, big out breath. Roll that shoulder back if you can. Try not to let your knees slide, which they will do naturally. How do we prevent that? We think of that lift on the tummy, keep it going towards the waist. The more you lift that, the more you can keep your knees and your hips stable. Two to go, exhale, breathe in. And again, exhale and pull that stretch, head in the center of the shoulder line, back shoulders flat to the floor as possible, breathing in through the nose and the exhaling through the mouth. Gently bring that arm forward. 
lovely. And we shall extend the legs. Now remember you will be on your, that was my right leg, so it would have been your left leg, would it? I can't remember. Anyway, you'll be doing this leg now. Nice breath in. Unless, of course, you started the other way, and that's fine too. Big out breath, press. Inhale. Exhale. So you can hold your hand on your top hip just to keep an eye that your hips are stacked. You can keep your arm across the top of your hip. Fingertips on the floor. And that just gives you a little bit of leverage. The problem with putting your hand down, ladies and gentlemen, continue, is that most human beings then lean into the hand. So you've lost your posture. You've brought, you've brought your body forward. So you no longer have a nice um, lengthening through the head, neck and spine. So fingertips, exhale, lengthen, breathe in, breathe out, <sighs> inhale, lower. And again, that sense of lengthening. And the lower leg as long as the top leg. So we don't want to lift the top one, leave the lower one sort of hanging behind there or with the knee bent or the foot coming up like that. You want to work this inner thigh also, four to go. Breathe in, down. Exhale, you can see I rolled back there a little bit. You could always put your pillow or your towel underneath your hip if that feels uncomfortable. Last two, exhale, breathe in. Last one. And pulse, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold here, lift, and circle for eight, seven, Breathe in, breathe out, six, head back in line, five, shoulders stacked, four, and three, and two, and one, back the other way for eight, and seven, six, and five, and when you bring that leg forward, you can feel that pull on the hips where you would roll forward and back. What do we do? We focus on our core. Pubic bone towards the waist. Lifted, three, two. That'll help to stabilize those hips. Hold here and pulse, eight, seven, six, five. Don't show, four. Continue your breath, three, two, one. And bend those legs and give it a rub. And obviously you're rubbing the other side now. Lovely. And you're just going to roll around onto your back and lift your hand weights. Okay, and I am going to go up the other side now. And lift my hand weights. Lovely. So shoulders nice and relaxed, ladies and gentlemen. Knees and feet are hip distance. Beautiful. Now, lovely. Nice end breath. Make sure your knees are hip distance. We're going to breathe in through the nose, hand weights in the hands, palms facing inwards. Bring your feet a little bit closer to your bum. We're going to lift into bridge position and we're just going to slowly take those arms back and breathe in down. Exhale, bum up, arms back, breathe in down. Exhale, lift. Again, only come up as far as is comfortable for you. Continue your work. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, that you want a nice clean line between the side of your knee, hip, and shoulder. Bum down too low, the glutes are not contracted as well as they could be. This kind of thing you definitely don't want because you've got hyperextension of the lower back. And even if you don't have a problem with your back, you definitely don't want to give yourself a problem with your back by forcing up, okay? So next nice in breath. Palms are facing inwards. Inhale down, keep the knees in line. Exhale, lift. Breathe in, don't take the arms all the way back to the floor. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Four to go. Exhale. Breathe in. And just a little squeeze on your buttocks. as if you're trying to squeeze the bone together. Two to go. Last one. Now we're going to hold here and turn the palms to the ceiling and just pulse the palms a little bit for 10, 
nine, press the feet into the floor, eight, seven, now ideally you would have your pillow or towel out from underneath your head, so unlike myself, you wouldn't be being strangled by your mammary glands, three, two, one, gently bring that, those arms down, lovely, so always remember as I've told you before, anything where your bum comes off the floor in bridge or segmental bridge position, remove your pillow or towel, and keep your length, uh, lengthening through the neck. It means that when you lift your hips, you still have that sense of a space underneath your chin, hopefully. So, sorry about that, folks. Now, roll across the back of the hips. Now, you can modify this movement and hold your knees here, so knees above the hips, chins, tabletop, or feet to the ceiling. Nice breath in, and exhale. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, chin to chest, eyes on your thighs, five, four, three, oh, cramp in my calf muscle, two, one, and rest down. Lovely. Take a full stretch. Arms up above your head, shoulders relax. Remember, don't take your arms up here if your neck and shoulders are tight. You can modify down. If you have any issues with your shoulders, rotator cuff, stiff neck, frozen shoulders, take one arm up and save the, the one that doesn't work so well. So gently, breathe in, bring your hands back down into the side of your hips. Walk your shoulder blades in towards the midline of your spine, turning the palms up to face the ceiling. Walk your buttocks in towards the crease of your bum and let your feet fall out to the side of your ankles and close your eyes. I'm going to breathe. All of us together, ladies and gentlemen, in through the nose, deep and wide. Hold the breath at the top. Exhale out. And relax after your out breath. Now remember, inhale through the nose, deep and wide. Breathing into your midsection so that your ribs just lift towards the ceiling. Hold at the top, big out breath. Out breath always longer than your in breath. Inhale through the nose, deep and wide. Hold at the top. Exhale out through an open mouth. Shoulders relax. Relax after you've emptied your lungs. And breathe in through your nose. Hold at the top, exhale out. Remember, if you find it difficult to focus, just bring your hands across the middle of your body. Let your two middle fingers just come into contact with themselves. Deep and wide on the in-breath, the two middle fingers move away as the tummy pushes the ribs up and out. And exhale, two middle fingers start to come back towards the center again. Again, feeling the body relaxing in towards the mat. Don't allow anything into your head, ladies and gentlemen, at all, except the sound of your breath, the awareness of where you are, your mat on the floor, and just relaxing out through your mouth, in through your nose. Nice controlled breaths. Slowing the breathing down on the in-breath, taking in more oxygen for a count of six if possible. Hold the breath for a second at the top, and then open your mouth and empty those lungs. Out-breath longer than the in-breath. And one more time, chin towards the chest, neck nice and long. Lovely. I'm just going to point the toes and flex the feet. Point and flex. I want you to bend your knees and slide your feet towards your bum. Bring your knees in. Extend the legs to the ceiling. Tuck your chin towards your chest. Just hold the calf muscle on the right leg. Elbows are soft, shoulders are relaxed, and switch. Let's do it. I nearly choked myself. Eight, seven, six. Chin to chest. Five 
and four and three. Keep your head on the floor if you wish to. You can give your knees bent if you wish. Last set and rest on. Now pull your toes towards your ankles and push your toes into the floor, lift your heels. Heels down, toes up. Toes down, heels up. Heels down, toes up and toes down. Slide your bum away from me. Slide your knees towards me. Push into your front hand and hand comes underneath. Lovely. Well done ladies and gentlemen. That wasn't too hard, was it? No. Nice breath in. Gently roll around onto your side, onto your knees even. Toes underneath your ankles, bum to the ceiling, chin towards your chest. Slowly walk your hands back towards your toes. Soften your knees at this point if you need to. Arms loose and heavy. Nice big deep breath in. And slowly bring that spine back up. Let your shoulders fall away from your neck. And as you lift your head, take a nice breath in. Lovely. How did we go? Good. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more time, ladies and gentlemen. And give yourselves a big clap. Now, well done. That's another week over. So, have a lovely weekend. Look after yourself. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Keep your distance. And keep your pecker up, first and foremost. Keep your pecker up, folks. We've got to hang in there. All right? Lots of love. Miss you very much. And anybody that's new to watching us, um, nice to meet you. And I hope you enjoy. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.